as the week goes on, things just get dumber and dumber and weirder and weirder. Anyways, Doug, go, oh, Doug, oh, Doug. Well, guess that didn't end well. Oh, look at all the nonsense in this thumbnail. Like, Rachel has been through a lot with this guy. Like, it's just ridiculous. Um, Main takeaway, say no to baloney. It's time for love after luck up, baby. Hi. Rachel and Dog. That went and got a Rachel tattoo before me and Rachel even ever had our first physical visit. It's found out, like, from another person that Dog's been cheating on me this entire time. After everything I've done for that stupid mother... So way in hell that he ever, ever loved me. So, to show that I don't really care anymore, this, this little piece, I'm done. Hey, 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 come and give it to me so that I can sell it. D don't you dare throw that away. Don't throw that anywhere. Do you hear me? Garbage. A door. Just like everything else. Don't yeah, that must feel good in the moment, but uh, rather useless later on. Well, in any case, we got this message, right? guy's wife i thought i need to tell you this your husband came to my house earlier today with some skunk and i caught them in our bedroom i don't know who she is but she's no longer he is a dog and you deserve better that welcome in her house or whatever if it were me i would want somebody to tell me my that husband is what the message that rachel received so somebody snitched on dog and said yo your man was straight up cheating and got caught this man didn't even have the sense to cheat somewhere else. He cheated in the <laughs> in the house of his friend where there's other random people whose house it actually is walking around. Oh my goodness. Oh, what's she the message? Like, what's going on here? And he's like, They're Yeah, now she's looking for the ring, obviously. Because that was mm. in a bad place within that. And she's in a really bad place, you guys. In the beginning, you're like, Whoa, Rachel, are you okay? She's doing very weird and crazy things. Our relationship, so they just want to ruin ours. So when she confronted Doug, he was like, oh, um, no, they're lying. You know, their relationship is going wrong or going bad or whatever. So they just want to ruin our relationship. As if what y'all got going on is that strong. It was Gary's friend. Wait, here it is. You know, it was. Good. She got Friends, girl. Side. Let's get some money off of this nonsense. Side piece. I talked to the girl and she admitted to me that they had been having relations. I checked phone records because and he decided to punch out the cabinet door what a aggression so much i punched that cabinet door not your face here's the really uh nice. well empty dresser took all his left she i think he was very concerned about well you know whatever little belongings i had got for him doug jr's not here anymore all his gone too i'm shook like the air was taken from me my life was taken from me everything i ever in my family a happy home a marriage you get it back with somebody who actually deserves your love take a break honey come sit with me i'm not feeling it right now mom i'm still uh i'm in the zone you know so she's just cleaning like a crazy person it's just a therapeutic get over here i need a minute and why she's just talking and talking and barely breathing and just cleaning and cleaning and this is what i'm telling you this woman was not okay Thank goodness for mommies because this mommy came in and stepped in and she was like, listen, t take it easy. Baloney doesn't belong in the cupboard. Oh, did I, did I do crap? I did do that. Do the bologna Let's there. go have a smoke and okay. take a breather. I hate baloney. That's another funny thing. She hates baloney. So she was really just putting up with all this baloney, baloney crap. She was putting up with all this baloney. Because of him. He told me that too when he was in prison that people looked at him like a used car salesman. And I said to him, I said, don't you want to be a new car salesman? That is so funny. She's kind of funny. She has this dry humor. But the mom did say all this sweet talk and all this blah, 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 that he was talking in the beginning. Oh, I, I bet you in 1985, you never thought you were going to give her to me, did you? Or something like that. I don't even know what he said. It was such slimy... I, I don't know, and she saw right through it. She was like, yeah, I see right through all this nonsense. So don't you worry about me. I know what's going on, but does my daughter? Mm -hmm, that's the question. Okay, she didn't say all that now, but I'm adding that too. Yeah, without a doubt in my mind, he had no feelings for me. 
yes, I am so glad you've come to that realization because it's true. He didn't have any feelings for you, but why he wanted to mess this up, why he messed this up is beyond me to, to now do the tantanta now with the woman that you were cheating on her with that does that woman even have her own house? You couldn't even go to her house to do the tantanta. You had to do the tantanta in somebody else's house. That's ridiculous. <sighs> Poor little doggy. He's sick. Yeah, poor little Dougie, for real. That's all I can think about. It's just crazy. He's go through so much with his dad. I am definitely open to the opportunity of taking custody of Dougie. I would love to have him if that's what he wanted and what he would love family it. agrees to what would be in his best interest. I know what needs to be done, and I enjoy what I have, and I don't plan on losing it. I would never <laughs> take Doug back under any circumstances. Good. I'll... <laughs> I love to hear it. We love to hear it. Somebody who has come to their senses finally. Like you can you can even tell actually that she's traumatized. But okay. It's because I know that he'll never change. That you successfully broke my heart. You made me look stupid. This is what she would tell him if you if you were listening. Hopefully one day life gets put together for you and you can be out here and understand what freedom's all about. That's the thing about it is when he was free, he probably never felt like he was free. This is the problem with these inmates. They feel still kind of trapped, but in a different way because there are different restrictions. You can't just work here. You can't just do this. You can't just do that. Then the parole officer, you need to check in with them. You have to do this. So are you really free? That's the question. These people never really feel free. You know, maybe I should date an account. I would never date another convict again as long as my life depends on Cause this is where the third uh, inmate that she was dating? On it. I am retired. Good. And I hope you stay true to that, what you just said. When I started writing Rachel and Chris, it was strictly past time. I mean, so when he started talking to her, it was strictly to pass time. Mm -mm -mm. It was strictly... This. Wow, okay. The truth is coming to light, so that's a good thing. Just for conversation, she's funny. Uh, Just for conversation, she was funny, yeah, she is. I give everybody the chance. I didn't know it was going to be to where it went. I give everybody the chance. Ah, that's interesting. So she... Definitely wasn't the only one and he was chatting to anybody and everybody who would listen and if throwing in a few I love you's in there was going to keep them hooked for longer and keep them interested in him and keep them talking to him. He was just going to keep doing that. So in any case, I love that they were installing um, security. That's amazing because yeah, obviously they deal with these ex inmates and now these people know where you live. That's kind of dangerous in a sense. In any case, they're still legally married, which I don't know. And then he was arrested for violating his parole. And if you look at the channel, according to Amber, great channel, go check it out. She always has the inside scoop on what actually is happening with these people. So yeah, apparently he cut off his ankle bracelet or whatever. Then he would run away. I think with his new girlfriend or whatever, then he was out and about. And then I think they caught him. The cops did. And then he was trying to pew pew the cops and a whole mad thing. A whole wow wow west thing that he was doing so now he's gonna be in prison for a long long time if these are the facts so rachel dodged a you know what and dougie has gone back to live with rachel and he looks about five years older these kids just grow like whoa he really just looks so different but yeah that is amazing you know that is amazing that and rachel's hair looks amazing and yes here's to a new start Ching ching. Like, obviously, yeah, this is this is going to be the, the best setup. And for Dougie as well, not to go to his auntie's house, but to be with Rachel is just amazing. And I wish him nothing but the best because he deserves it. This, this was just terrible. Had a horrible upbringing, horrible life, horrible childhood, really. But luckily, he's still a child and he can make up for lost times and whatever, whatever. And hopefully, you'll have some sort of father figure in his life eventually. And hopefully, Rachel also find love. That's a good ending in a sense because Doug, Doug was going to do whatever Doug wanted to do anyway. But I'm glad that Doggy gets a chance, a good shot at life and that Rachel, you know, has 
you know, can finally focus on getting a good guy because this is her third marriage. So getting a good guy can also be an amazing father figure for little doggy. So that's good. In any case, if you're not already part of the family, make sure you hit bum stomp ass on to that subscribe button. Comment because I really want to know what you think. Like because you like this video and hit the notification bell. Watch out it. I'll see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow. Daily ish videos up in here. In the meantime, make time for glorious life. It's time to start what? Living it right. God bless. Mm. So yeah, this is the season finale. It's it's been a wild ride. It's been interesting, but this is the only one that I feel like we've been able to see it through, kind of like what happened. It's a good conclusion of it all. So it's kind of cool. Anyway, stay tuned for tomorrow's video, my last video um, of this season for Love After Lock Up. And I have an interesting message um, there. So stay tuned for that last video um, of the season. And yeah, I will see you tomorrow. Take care.